Today, George Washington is widely regarded as the military mastermind who defeated the British and won American independence. But less is known about Charles Lee, a capable but eccentric general whose arrogant behavior helped ensure Washington's place as a military leader and father of the United States. Charles Lee was born in England around 1732, the son of a general in the British Army. Lee fought with the British during the Seven Years' War, only to fight against them in the Revolutionary War. Quickly rising to the rank of Major General, Charles Lee was a more experienced military leader than many in the largely volunteer Continental Army. This made him valuable to the cause, but left Lee feeling superior to many of his contemporaries. He criticized others, including the Inspector General of the Continental Army, Baron von Steuben, who was charged with training the troops. The Baron was so insulted by Lee's insubordination, he challenged him to a duel, a confrontation that was only avoided when Lee apologized. Yet others were impressed by Lee's opinionated views and charisma, including George Washington himself, who as commander of the Continental Army made Lee his second in command. In the summer of 1778, the war was in its third year. Under threat from a French fleet, the British abandoned the rebel capital of Philadelphia. Washington sensed an opportunity and turned to Lee for help. The future president needed someone to stop the British before they returned to New York. Once again, General Lee thought he knew better and declined the order. But when news reached the general that another officer would be charged with the same task, Lee changed his mind, pleading with Washington to let him lead his troops into what would become the Battle of Monmouth. It was a disaster. After delaying the assault, when Lee's troops finally advanced, they did so with confusion and poor communication. Lee's lack of confidence in his own men saw them abandon the fight within the first hour of battle. Arriving on the scene, Washington was furious. He chastised Lee in front of the men, demanding to know why his orders were not carried out. Taking full command, Washington personally led a new attack. Charles Lee was court-martialed and left the army in disgrace. Though the Battle of Monmouth ultimately proved a stalemate, George Washington had gained an important victory. Removing Lee, cemented Washington's unquestioned role as commander-in-chief for the remainder of the war and paved the way to his presidency.